Hello friends, I am Savan Pfeffer and I welcome you all for the fourth lecture series of transportation problem. Today we are going to discuss about LCM method with type condition. So let's take an example how to solve this kind of problem. So as we know in list cost method we choose a minimum value from this table and start allocation from that minimum value. So as you can see the transportation cost available in this table the minimum value is 2 and this value is available at 2 places so out of this 2 places which one we will start to allocate that will be depends on the number of supply they can carry that particular value ok if we we will check one of the uh, one by one let's check this place if we choose this number then what maximum number of allocation we can made is as per the demand and supply the maximum number of allocation we can made here is 40 while if we go for this then maximum number of allocation that we can made as per the demand and supply is that is 10 so here it is obvious choice that this is more suitable choice as we can make maximum number of allocation here so we will choose this one and we'll allocate start allocation from here so we are allocating 40 units here okay so now this row has been satisfied so we can strike out okay this supplies has been satisfied out of 50 here 40 has been consumed remaining quantity 10 now what is the next minimum value available with us is let's check this one is minimum and this one is also minimum so out of these two place again we have to check at which place we can make maximum number of allocation as per the demand supply at this place we can allocate 80 units as per the demand supply at this place we can allot only 10 number of units as per the demand supply available so obviously we will go for at this place and start allocation here so we allocate 80 here clear so this supply has been satisfied so we can strike out this and out of 180 has been consumed so remained quantity are 20 now what is the next available minimum for, uh, value is this one so we'll allocate here so as per the demand supply we can allocate 10 quantity here so demand has been satisfied so we can strike out that column and out of 80 remaining quantity are 70 now at this 2 plus again we have tie but here it doesn't matter much because only this uh, uh, 10 quantities remain to be allocated and we have only available this table uh, this column have only this value available so simply we can allocate 10 and satisfy this column and for this again we have only this value available in this column so we have allocate 40 clear now for this value again we have only this value available in this column so we can allocate remaining quantity 20 here and you can make the total 20 40 that is 60 plus 10 70 plus 10 80 and that is matching with the supply hence this allocation has been made properly and we have got our answer so when you put a total cost by multiplying this whole unit with their carrying number of units with cost then you will got your answer so today we have clear about how we can solve a lcm problem whenever tie is occurring i hope it is clear to all thank you all